So, um, so another example for uh, torsional uh, shearing stress, we have here a 30 millimeter diameter shaft uh, used to transmit uh, the torques applied in the gears. So we have gear C and gear D, and then we're asked to find the absolute maximum shear stress on the shaft. So the cross-sectional area of the shaft is a constant, so the diameter is constant, and our shaft is a solid, um, solid shaft, so we only have single diameter. So remember, for, um, for solid shafts, our maximum torque is uh, expressed as 16 T divided by pi d cube. So we have single diameter and then we have the internal torque. So what we ask here is to find the maximum shearing stress on this particular shop. So I will show you in this uh, example we have another way actually of um, expressing the or getting the maximum um, torque it's a uh, actually like the shear uh, shear diagram no? if you're familiar I, I, I think you're not yet familiar with those or maybe you've taken some of those in your uh, statics maybe just just maybe anyway uh, it's just uh, somehow similar no but uh, of course shear is uh, different much more different with the uh, torque so you can actually by by uh, you can have, you can either cut sections and express or or compute for the internal torque for each section, or you can make use of this. Sorry. So draw like something like this, and then at this uh, particular section you have a 300 newton, and then. We just have to take note that the, for um, our sign convention, we have counterclockwise is uh, negative, and then you have the clockwise is a positive. So if you refer to our introduction to torsion, so also uploaded in this channel, uh, for our derivation, this is the sign convention that was used. If you remember the angle of twist so the angle of twist is uh, on that direction Clock, uh, counter, uh, clockwise because uh, we're assuming we're for our for consistency in science uh, this is our sign convention so in this uh, particular section we have 300 newton meter which is uh, counterclockwise so negative so we have here 300 so this is zero, so this is the torque in newton meter. It's just like a xy ordered pair. So, and this is the x in meters. So this is the distance. So distance zero, we have 300 newton meter. And then you have distance uh, 300 or point three. This is a, uh, 0 0.3 mm the 300 we have the 500 newton meter uh, torque so 300 plus 500 so negative 300 plus 500 200 so 200 so this is uh, 0 0.3 meters this one and then we have 0.3 to Plus four, we have seven. This is at seven. So we have 200. And then added with, uh, again, we have 200 plus 200. So that's uh, 400. This is uh, 400. And then the last one, we have uh, plus 500. That's 1.2 meters this is a uh, 0.7 meters we have counterclockwise 400 
So the 400 here from this uh, 1 1.7 to 1.2, it becomes zero. So it's one way of getting the torque. So meaning from 0.7 to 1.2, you have a single value of torque for this particular section, which is equal to 400. For this particular section, which is from C to D, our torque value is 200 Newton meter. And from section A to C, our torque value here is 300 Newton meter. So the maximum torque here is uh, 400 Newton meter. So that's one way of getting the uh, maximum torque. And just take note of the sign convention that the counterclockwise is negative, and then you have the clockwise as positive. So now that we know 400 Newton as the maximum torque, we can have shear stress max equals 16 times 400 newton meter we just have to convert meter to millimeters so one meter is 1000 mm divided by pi times the diameter is 30 mm diameter cube mm Cube. So this one cancels with this one. This one cancels with one of this uh, mm. So the one mabilin. And then we have stress max just equal to calculator. We have 16 times 400 times 1000 divided by pi pi times 30 raised to the 3. We have 75.45 Newton per mm square, or that's 75.45 mega pascals. So this is one way. You know, this is another way of um, getting. You know, so you can either do this, or you can also cut section. For example, in this particular section, you cut. And then this particular section you also cut and then you solve for the internal torque and then you will arrive at the same answer as, uh, as this one so that's it for this problem So this is another, um, this uh, problem is another example of uh, torsion or torsional um, shearing stress. But uh, this is uh, a bit different with the uh, other sample problems because um, we're not given with the torque, but we're given with the forces that um, causes torque at point A. So we have a shaft here which has two diameters actually, no? Uh, we have a different diameter from A to B, and then the different diameter from B to C. So we have two sections of galvanized uh, steel pipe connected together using a reducing cu coupling at B. The smaller pipe has an outer diameter of 0.75, so this is 0.75 D1, and an uh, inner diameter of 0.68, so this is a hollow, a hollow shaft or a hollow pipe. And then you have the larger pipe, is also a hollow pipe with the outer and inner diameter. If the pipe is uh, tightly secured at wall C, determine the maximum shear stress developed in each section of the pipe when the couple, couple shown in the, is applied at the handles of the 
wrench na. So, you have a wrench here. And then, you have forces applied. So, notice that um, the force applied here causes a torque in that direction. So, this is the torque at A. Causes, because this one is uh, pushing to the direction. This one is pulling to this direction. So, it will create a couple um, or a moment clockwise direction so how do we solve for this uh, gonna get the maximum maximum uh, shear stress so so let's solve first for the torque at A so here's the solution so the torque at A is just equal to the force this force times the moment arm since we don't have a uniform moment arm for both now you have 6 inches and 8 inches uh, usually what we do here if for example if you have a force and then you have a force and then you have the x and then you have the x usually we just uh, do is uh, 2x so we have the moment that, that is if we have um, they have the same dimension, but for this particular example, uh, we cannot do this, but you can do this by, uh, but you can compute this by computing each, each moment caused by the force, and it's a moment arm or lever arm. So you have 15 times 6 plus 15 times 8. So we have... 15 times 6 plus 15 times 8, 210. The unit is pounds. So you have pounds per. Oh no, no. Pounds times inch. So that's torque at A. Now that we have the torque at A, we can now compute for section. This particular section and this particular section so we have section we name it AA and then this one is B B so that's it no? so at section AA of course the torque is equal to torque A but on the opposite direction no? which is equal to 210 pounds inch at section B, B, you have, if you are going to draw this one, you will have torque A, and then you will have torque at B, which is also equal to 210 pounds inch because there's no other torque present in the along the length of the shaft so but still the torque here or, or the shearing stress here will not be equal to the shearing stress at the particular at this particular section no? because they have uh, different diameters so section uh, from or section a to b we have shearing stress AB equal to, if you have hollow pipe, 16T uh, D divided by pi D minus D4. We have 210 or 16 times 210 pounds inch. So we don't need to convert anything. We have for smaller pipe, which is a section AB. The outer diameter is 0.75 and then we have, this is also an inch, we have pi, the outer diameter is uh, 0 0.75 to the 4 minus uh, 0.68 inch 4. So this cancels, cancels, we have stress AB just equal to calculator 
16 times 210 times 0 0.75 divided by pi times no we have 0.75 raised to the 4 minus 0 0.68 raised to the 4 we have 7818 0.71 psi or you can have stress AB is uh, 7.82 KSI. So again, this, it, it's just uh, more convenient to express in terms of uh, this one. So you now have the stress at AB. Um, section B to C. Section B to C. We have BC equals 16 times 210 inch. Now the bigger diameter is 1 inch. No, it's 1 inch. And then we have pi 1 times cube minus uh, 0 0.86. 3. We have inch 4. Just one cancel with this one. We now have pi per square inch. Or that's uh, 16 times 210 times 1 divided by pi times 1 cube 1. So minus 0 0.86. Stress BC equals 2938.7 PSI or that's uh, BC is uh, 2.94 KSI. So that's your torsional sheathing stress for the larger pipe which is in section B to C. So that's it uh, for this uh, problem.